What's up guys, Pat Clark Kent here at Zeke's Comics and Games in Washington, Illinois. I contacted the owner, they've been here five years and I have not been here yet, I cannot believe it. So I'm gonna check out the inside, interview the owner and check out their merchandise. Let's go. the typical shop owner uh, that grew up with all of this in, in terms of collecting. I spent most of my younger years, like most people, I watched Adam West Batman, the 1990s animated series. I was very Batman focused. Grew up, you know, obviously the X-Men movies were coming out, Spider-Man, but I never collected comics. It wasn't until my senior year of high school where I tell everybody I changed my life. I found Dark Knight Returns on a fiction wall in the library. And then it was like, holy cow, there's this whole, and I'm very into history and political things, so that book was very easy for me to like, oh wow, comics are not just goofy. Like they can be really serious and very interesting. Batman, 110%. You know, if you've experienced it, a lot of fans expect characters to be one way. They grow up with it in one way. I'm a person that's like, I've read everything. There's no one particular version. There's so many versions, so. Yeah, as a character, I've enjoyed him. Cool. So when we opened the store, I wanted it to be somewhere that you'd want to go hang out. We call it the cheers of being nerds. You know, it's everybody knows your name, you come here, you spend time. Even on my banner and my promotions, it's comics, games, community. So for me, it's like, yeah, you can spend 10 bucks less. And some people, that's okay. But there are people who want to come here and experience the conversation, they want to have somebody who can at least direct them into what they want to read or not read, and then having somebody that they know they can connect to, even if you don't agree on everything. So I think that's why you go to these types of stores. At least that's why I do. So we were back in the Pat Cave and my first impression of Zeke's was awesome. They had tons of comics, a bunch of toys for me to look at, and a whole room dedicated to RPGs. I'm not that big into RPGs, role-playing games, but after seeing that room, it really did pique my interest. So I ended up finding some cool merch there. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So this, um, this is a Yamagachi. I had to ask Zeke what, what this was, but I know it's Green Lantern, obviously, but this is an anime creature or character. Come here. Sorry, my cat keeps chewing on stuff. You know, if any of my little cousins come down here ever, I can just throw this to them and they can play with that because this stuff's off limits. I also got a cool little Aquaman figure. It's like a mystery box. Could be one out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So it could be one out of 12 characters. Let's open it up and see. All righty, check it out. And we got Nice, I got Aquaman, Arthur Curry. Oh cool, look at this little wave he's on. Surf's up, man, shred the pipe. So that's the episode, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to go check out Zeke's Comics in Washington, Illinois. I'll throw the link down in the description. While you're down there, make sure to share, like, and subscribe with your fellow nerds. I gotta go do some Clark Kent stuff, so I will see you next Friday. I just saved this cat from a tree.